Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. So I will be doing a full on transformation. I'm gonna take myself from this to this. So I will be doing my hair and my makeup. So let's just get into this tutorial. The hair that I'm using today, it's provided by Eunice Hair, or is it Eunice? Not sure, but let me know in the comment section. And I will have all the hair info in a description bar down below. This hair is straight hair and we got some baby hairs. We got, well, they look more like adult hairs, but I don't mind them because it makes it easier for me to tweeze this hairline. This is what the wig looks like straight out the box. This is it. And I'm gonna bleach it off camera, bleach the knots that is, off camera. I have very detailed videos on how I do that. So I'll link it in the description bar down below. I added some layers in the hair, just some quick little layers because I wanted it a bit shorter. And I'm gonna go in with my curling iron today and some hairspray because I want some volume. I want some volume. I want some vava boom hair, okay? So I'm gonna take this one inch curling iron and start curling this hair. And then I'm gonna add some curlers to it as well. You don't have to use curlers. If you know how to do pin curls without curlers, bravo, good for you. I suck at it, so I'm not even gonna attempt it today. I'm just gonna use my rollers. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna add some rollers. I start off with some big ones and then I had some smaller ones on the top. And I'm gonna speed this part up because I'm pretty much doing the same thing over and over. So we're just gonna speed this part up. When I started working on this wig, it was actually late at night. So I started filming this very late and I left the curls overnight to do their thing and now it's the next day. So we're gonna move on to application. I'm gonna go in with my Bold Hole Skin Protector. I always use this on my skin before I apply any kind of glue. So I put it on my cotton pad and I'm just you know, pat it in, in the areas that I need it the most. Now I'm gonna pop that wig on my head. This is how the curls are looking. I haven't brushed them out as yet. I'm just gonna let them fall and do their thing. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a tighter curl, but it wasn't, but it's whatever. I can work with this. So I'm just cutting off all that extra lace because I don't need it. And this is always the hardest part for me to cut, especially on camera, because I have like the world's worst mirror that I'm filming with. But now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some bold hole lace glue. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is my favorite glue. I use it all the time. And I'm just gonna apply it along the forehead area. And I'm doing two layers of glue. You can add more if you prefer to wear your wigs for a longer period of time. But I do two layers and I go in with my blow dryer on the cool setting. And I'm just gonna melt down that lace. The hairline is looking pretty good you guys by the way i did tweeze this hairline this is not how the wig comes you have to you know you have to customize it yeah because i've seen some comments in my comment section where people say they buy the wigs and it doesn't look exactly like mine guys please keep in mind that i do customize the pre-made wigs and i do show you videos on how i customize the wigs because most wigs when you get them they don't really look um great fresh out the box you have to do things to them to make them look good and that's what the videos are here for now as for this brand of hair this is my second time using their pre-made wigs so always check out other videos like review videos on the hair before you purchase any hair my videos are mainly to help you guys how to style how to install how to make your wigs look better that is what I'm here for okay so I'm gonna be doing the same thing again cutting off all that extra lace don't need it and I did apply some foundation to this lace and I think my foundation was just a tad bit too dark I used my summer foundation shade it was a little bit too dark so I made my lace look a little bit dark so I wasn't really feeling that but we're gonna have to hide it with some baby hair and I went in with my got to be free spray to melt down that lace and again I'm just cutting off all the extra lace on the other side and then I'm gonna go in with my glue once again to apply it to the sides once the glue is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and melt down that lace. I'm not using my rat tail comb today because I have no idea where it is and I'm here using my finger. Don't do that, use a comb. It's better to use a comb. And I went in with the got to be once again. Now I'm gonna go in with some makeup wipes to get rid of any extra glue on my forehead. 
we don't want any glue on the forehead this is what i use to remove my wigs you guys c22 solvent i will be doing a video on how i remove my wigs because a lot of you guys have been asking for that so i'm gonna go in with my hair wax right now and this is just gonna help to flatten down the wig as for the hair wax i got it from a wig company but you can get them on amazon you can get it at sally's you can use any other brand it'll work just as fine and i'm gonna go in with my hot comb and i'm gonna flatten down that wig because we don't want it to look like a hat girl let me tell you the way i felt that heat from that hot comb it was burning my head burning so now i'm gonna go ahead and do some baby hairs i'm gonna keep it a little bit on the softer side so i went in with my hot comb again and i'm loving how the hair wax makes the hairline look so i'm gonna go in with my sharon comb and just cut the hairs and I'm taking this baby uh, curling iron. I got this from, it's Conyer, that's the brand. I got it from Walmart. And I'm not sure of the size, but it's a teeny tiny curling iron, flat iron. And then I'm gonna go in with my edge brush and create some tiny baby hairs. Now I did add some got to be free spray to my brush to create the baby hairs. Again, I'm not the best when it comes to doing baby hairs, but I do wanna try the soft baby hairs. I do wanna film a video like that. If you guys wanna see that, comment down below because I feel like it will be a struggle for me, but whatever, I'll try it. And I'm gonna go in with my hair mousse now and I'm going to apply a little of that hair mousse to the hairline. I don't go crazy with the hair mousse anymore. I like just a small amount of it. And I'm gonna take this elastic band. These are what I use for my wigs and I'm just gonna wrap it around my head. And now we're gonna move on to the makeup. So I'm doing my makeup on camera today, guys. I'm gonna go in and fill in my brows with my Benefit My Precisely Brow Pencil. I'm gonna be playing with some new makeup today. Colored Rain just launched some new products and this is their eyeshadow base, it's their paint base. And I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows and I'm also gonna be using this on my eyelid because it's gonna be the base for eyeshadow. It's gonna help the eyeshadow to be more pigmented, have it last forever. Well, not forever, but you know what I mean. Let's get into this palette. Rebellious Nudes by Colored Rain. Guys, this has got to be my new favorite palette. I'm living for these shades. You guys know I love my nudes, my browns. And I'm taking the eyeshadow moods and I'm gonna pop that into my crease. The brush that I'm using, it's by Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill collection. Now I'm taking this mustard yellow shade so gorgeous i'm here for it these eyeshadows are so pigmented now i'm going to take this darker shade of brown and i'm just popping that at the side kind of like we're creating a wing here i'm using the mac 217 brush i think that's the brush i'm using and i'm also going to pop that into the crease to define the crease a bit more now i'm going to take this gorgeous shimmer oh my god the shimmer eyeshadows in this palette beautiful gorgeous love it I haven't worn shimmers in quite a while. I have this weird love-hate relationship with shimmers, but the shimmers in this eyeshadow palette, gorgeous. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using this as my liner today. I also went in with my makeup wipes just to clean up the side. I'm gonna add some mascara to the non-existent lashes that I do not have. I was not blessed in that department. I don't know why, but yeah, I don't have any lashes. They're so small. So we're gonna rock some falsies. I'm using the Ardell lashes in 259. I popped them on off camera. And now I'm gonna go on to doing my skin. I'm taking the Bobbi Brown, uh, this is their skin corrector. I use it to get rid of my dark circles on my face and around my mouth area. I feel like my skin, as far as my dark circle, has been looking a lot better. It's not as dark as it used to be. I've been doing hydrofacials once a month and honey, it's been getting my skin together. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation my favorite absolute favorite foundation it is a tad bit darker than me but i don't mind i don't care i'm okay with that so i'm going to add some to my neck and my air and now i'm going to take my favorite concealer under eye bye bye under eye concealer by it where has this concealer been my whole entire life why didn't i know about this before but yeah i'm gonna apply this under my eye area because you know i need to conceal that area and as for my contour i'm using the mario stick contour to do my contour so i like to do cream contour apply to my forehead area and my cheeks now we're gonna blend out that concealer blend it blend it blend it 
and I am gonna be going in with another concealer because I want my under eyes to be brighter however I don't like putting on a bright concealer without not using a darker concealer because I just feel like it makes my under eyes look hollow so I'm gonna use a brighter one under the eyes as well to do my highlight and I also contour my nose with the Mario contour stick and again blend that I'm obsessed with cream blushes, obsessed, especially with the Colored Rain cream blushes. This one is probably my favorite. It's the shade Smooches. Now I'm going to go in with the one size translucent powder, my absolute favorite powder. I love this powder so much. It sets my under eyes amazing, like no creasing guys, no creasing. And I have tiny wrinkles under the eyes, so to not get any creasing is amazing. Moving on to bronzer, I'm taking my matte mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm applying it to the hollows of the cheek along the forehead. Now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to do some baking under my contour. I don't use the one size for contour because for baking because it's just, it's just a little light for my skin to use it as baking I find but I'll use the Laura Mercier to bake. However, I do not bake under the eyes because I will look dry and crusty, so I don't want that. Now I'm going to blend away all that excess powder and I went ahead and I fill in one of my brows off camera. The brows are a little strong today. That was kind of by accident. So I didn't want to add any eyeshadow under my eyes. I just wanted to leave it bare, but I kind of messed up one eye, so I had to add some eyeshadow and some liner. And this is pretty much it as for the eye look. Now I'm going to add some glow to the cheek. I'm using the MAC highlighter in Oh Darling. I add a bit of that to my nose as well. I'm going to take my MAC Cork Lip Pencil. It's a ride or die. And I'm going to use this lipstick by NYX Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it. You know what? I will put it in the description box down below. I'm going to go in with my favorite, favorite spray right now. This is the Morphe Setting Spray. Guys, why didn't you tell me about this spray? I love it. It makes your skin look so just yummy i love it anyways this is the completed look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the hair the makeup comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and i will see you guys in another video very soon hopefully very soon so yeah happy holidays and stay safe love you guys thank you for watching bye